Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we are here at Leading Edge Archery. I got my ritual and some broadheads. We're gonna try to blow something up. and thank you for sticking with me. So, today we have six different broadheads to pass the ultimate test. So here we got the Iron Wheel Outfitter V100, we've got the Rage Tripan, we've got some Steel Forge broadheads, Ramcats, we've got a bunch of stuff that we're gonna be shooting. To find out their ultimate flight path, how they perform out of the box just by shooting them compared to a field point, then after that, we're gonna do a full-on destruction test and see which ones can handle punching through a 50 gallon steel drum lid. And the reason why we want to perform this test is it's a very extreme test and it's going to tell us a lot of things about the make and the durability, the quality of the build. But if you run into something like a shoulder or bone when you're and you don't have the perfect shot going in for a kill while you're out on the hunt, you want to make sure your broadhead is going to be able to perform like it should. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. Now as a baseline, we're gonna be taking a field point for the Aeroflight test, and we wanna see which one is gonna fly the most similar to a field point, because that's what most of us practice with. We're only gonna be at 20 yards. We're gonna be hitting that block target down there. And then afterwards, like I said, we're gonna blow up some arrowheads. For those of you out there who wanna know, um, our Elite Ritual is at a 65 pound draw, and we're gonna be shooting a 430 grain arrow, that which should be pretty much straight across the board for all of them. All right, so the first broadhead is gonna be the Muzzy Trocar. A lot of guys love this fixed blade broadhead. So as I expected, the Muzzy Trocar did amazing. It flew really, really well. Uh, had some good penetration, and uh, obviously there's nothing wrong with broadhead yet. Next up, we got the Ram Cat. We're gonna see how it flies. All right, uh, next up, this one is proven as a pretty good puncher because of the titanium ferrule. This is the Rage Tripan. So we're gonna test this in flight. And the reason I'm doing these particular broadheads that you're seeing in the video is I'm actually trying to figure out which broadheads I wanna take with me on a hunt when I do some whitetail, hog, axis, all that good stuff. Well, I think it flew well. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually damaged the knock. And then as it was flying through, it cut the fletching. So it flew really, really well. But uh, we're gonna, hopefully we can actually grab that footage and let you watch it. But holy moly, does that have one hell of a spread for cutting. Next, we've got the Steel Forge Fathead. This one is a puncher. This will this will punch through some bone. I flew a little high to the right, but that could be me, but overall, I flew pretty well. Last but not least on the Aeroflight test, we are doing Dirt Nap. This is the Dirt Nap Broadhead. A lot of people complain it's loud, so I'd be actually be interested to see uh, what the noise is like. Not too much louder than any of the other ones, and it flew really well. Uh, most of the shots I'd be taking with, I mean, anything we were shooting, if a uh, stand or blonde, I'm not really gonna be shooting past anywhere but like 30, 40 yards max. So the flights will be pretty similar overall. We're not gonna see any big, huge drops. I'm sure anyone that wants to do any testing out farther at 70, 80, 90, 100 yards, if that's kind of what you're into, that's your thing. But here in Texas, most of our uh, flights are gonna be really short. And uh, just that's just because the bush is so dang thick, you're not gonna get anywhere. But um, I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section which broadhead you like the most personally and which one you actually thought flew the best in our tests. All right, for no reason at all, we have six one gallon jugs of water down there. We got the Dirt Nap broadhead. And uh, because one of their pro staff shooters actually sent me a three pack, figured I'd be nice to have some fun and uh, see how many one gallon jugs I think can go through. I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section below how many you think it's gonna go through. One, two, 
five. Ooh. Oh my fajitas! It went through all of them like it was nothing. And it's actually inside the target. Man, that's pretty awesome. So as you can see in the playback footage, it's been priced pretty well. I'm sure a few people have legitimate complaints, but uh, I don't know, man. So far, I like it. But we're gonna see how it does in the destruction test. Up next. First on the chopping block is the Muzzy True Car. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh. That Muzzy Troll car is insanity. We are aiming for this spot right here. Pretty close, not too shabby. So overall, the tip's doing pretty good. The edges are a little frayed. Obviously, we went through metal. Very destructive. But overall, that, that's a reusable arrow right there. That is amazing. Next is the Ramcat. The only thing I'm worried about are the little uh, bleeder, the bleeders on the edge of it. I heard a thud. All right, so it broke clean through. It may have gone through a pre-existing hole, but it punched through just fine. So let's go remove it and see how it fared. All right, so it's buried so deep, I actually can't get the broadhead out. It's actually stuck in there. So we just unscrewed it. Uh, arrow's fine though, shaft's good to go. Next up, we got the dirt nap. Find out. So I'm about to call that test invalid because that actually went through a pre-existing hole. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. All right, as you can see, uh, it actually fared pretty well. Tips a little bit damaged. Um, it's a little bent. I don't know if you could reuse it, but it punched one hell of a hole. We actually went back and checked footage, checked it again, and it punched a fresh hole. So the test is not invalid. But holy moly, man, you may not be able to reuse these. I would like some nicer steel maybe, but whoo. That, that punched. Due to the fact that we did lose an arrow uh, because of the tripan, the next one up is the Steel Forge Fathead. This one should do some hurting. I think I like it. I was aiming for this little dot right here. It just flew a little high, but it punched one heck of a shot. Let's see how it's fared. All in all, it was really devastating, but the broadhead itself, that's 100% okay, man. Man, the bleeders are a little damaged, but that's something you could strop out. But the main part of the blade, whoo, that's like unscathed. These are like absolutely perfect. Last but not least, we have the Iron Wheel Outfitters V100. I'm exceptionally excited, and I saved this for last, because this is like a $30 broadhead by itself. In most cases, you could buy a three pack on sale for this much. And as far as I know, this is one of the more expensive ones. But because this is designed for a really big game and punching through some stuff that you really probably shouldn't be able to punch through, I'm excited to see how this fares. Oh, <laughs> that thudded. I need to review the footage on that, but dang, that punched the hole. So it punched a really good hole. We see a little bit of blade rolling in here. And it's kind of shocking because uh, some of the other ones did not suffer this much damage. Um, however, with that said, tip still 100% on point. This would punch through big game and bone just fine. And with a little bit of stropping and some minimal resharpening, this thing would be good to go, no problem. Well, all in all, I want to know which one out of the destruction test was your favorite. Um, if you want to know which one we like the best as far as overall flight, its ability to puncture, the least amount of damage taken, the reusability of the broadheads and our arrows. Definitely drop down in the comments and just ask me. I'll go ahead and tell you. All in all, how'd you like the test? Did you like the medium that we actually chose to use as a full-on destructive test? I know a lot of people think they were stupid for doing a test like this. However, I enjoyed the theory knowing that if I can go through metal, I can definitely go through bone. And that gave me a lot of security with some of them. Some of them didn't do as well as I thought and others performed a little bit better. But like I said, which one performed the best? Which one performed the least in your personal opinion? 
But that just about is for now. If you enjoyed the destruction test and the arrow test for the broadheads over here leading edge archery, definitely this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about is for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.